Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about transforming quadratic functions from vertex form to standard form. Last time, we had uploaded a video about the introduction of quadratic function, wherein we talked about the definition, the graph, the parts of a graph, and the different ways on how to represent a quadratic function. And then last time, we also uploaded a video on how to transform a quadratic function from standard form to vertex form. And this time, our focus is to know how to transform a quadratic function from vertex form to standard form. So basically, we reverse the process. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here this two, two forms that we already know. This is the vertex form y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k. And then our target today is to transform this equation to this form, which is your standard form, y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So I have here example number one. Transform the quadratic function y is equal to the quantity of x, minus, x plus 2 squared plus 1 to y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So, Mapansin nyo, um, ibabalik lang natin yung mismo equation sa kanyang original form. Pero, ang pinaka-thrill uh, pinaka dito guys is to manipulate, just manipulate the equation. So we have here this one. y is equal to x plus 2 squared plus 1. So ang gagawin mo lang dito, una, simplify mo lang yun sa parenthesis. You need to expand it, and when you simplify it, that will become x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus 1. So, saan ang galing yung x squared plus 4x plus 4 natin? We know that the pattern, or when you multiply x plus 2 times x plus 2, that will give you x squared. And ito naman, x times 2, that will give you 2x and when you multiply 2 times x that will give you also 2x and then 2 times 2 that is plus 4 and when you simplify it that is x squared plus 4x plus 4 ito na mismo yan okay and then plus 1 and combining like terms meron tayo itong pares constants we have y is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 5 this is the original equation or the standard form of the equation given in example number one. So let's move on with example number two. In example number two, we have to write, rewrite the quadratic equation y is equal to two times the quantity of x minus five squared plus 11, uh, minus 11. So copy muna natin yung given it, and we have y is equal to two times x minus five squared minus 11. Basically, all you need to do is ex to expand this one. Expand muna natin. So you have y is equal to 2 times. So ito shortcut din naman. You square mo lang yung first term mo. This x squared. And then multiply mo si x and 5. It will give you 5x. And then multiply it by 2. That is 10x. Then copy the sign of your capital operation between x and 5. That is subtraction, so minus 10x. Then square mo to. That will give you 5 raised to 2 plus 25 minus 11. Ito na ngayon yung expanded form ng x minus 5. Kahit gumamit ka naman ng foil method in multiplying that. Try natin eh. x times x is x squared. x times negative 5 is minus 5x. Negative 5 times x, that is minus 5x. Then negative 5 times negative 5, that is plus 25. Combining like terms, you have x squared minus 10x plus 25. So, ito na rin yan. Okay, they are just the same. And then, as you can see, you still have 2 here outside the parentheses, meaning you need to distribute or you need to use distributive property. So, you have to multiply it by 2. So you have y is equal to 2x squared. Ito rin distribute natin. 
minus 20x and then 2 times 25 is plus 50 minus 11. Combining these two, that will give you y is equal to 2x squared minus 20x plus 39. And this is the standard form of the given equation in number 2. So if you have any question about this topic or our solution, and if you have any requested topic that you want me to discuss within our YouTube channel, you can comment down below with our, within our video. Again, if you are new to our channel, please subscribe para mas updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!